Previously on AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Are you okay? God, this game yeah, is. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Really? You don't sound all that fine to me. No, I'm totally fine. And now back to Ryuki going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jurabi Therian bringing you another episode of AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. We last left off, shit got wild. Like, way too wild. I wouldn't even call it wild. I would just call it a regular day of Udakuji's bullshit. I'm honestly shocked at the way they, like, uh, you know, introduced this story so far. It's like, seriously, it's like, it was just so bizarre. It was like, so first off, we like, you know, started off with a game show. Like, we were doing a game show, which was all already weird right out the bat. That was kind of like a breaking the fourth wall. And like, we were like, you know, like playing these games with these like uh, characters. Mizuki was there, Iris was there, Momo was there as well. And it's like Lackey, or you know, the fat dude. Then we go into Mizuki's like perspective where it's all serious now. And like, we were like uh, fighting against this, like a girl with a gun who attacked her. Then we are introduced with the half-body serial killing case. Which is essentially like uh, these people's bodies being cut in half. Somehow, like in clean, perfect half. I have no clue how that's even possible. Usually like uh, when, when a person's cut in half, like uh, it's not in perfect clean half. Unless the person was cut by uh, like an anime swordsman. That's the only thing you can think of. Kind of like that one part in like a Metal Gear Revergence where like that dude like Cuts to the, you know, machine in clean half with his, like, tiny sword. So what theories do I have right now? None. I have no clue what the fuck's going on. Just as Urakuchi planned. But seriously, though, I think it's possible that, like, these bodies that we're finding right now, there aren't really the real bodies of the victims. That's the only thing you could think of, because, again, like, uh, if the bodies were indeed cut in half, there would be a blood trail all over the place unless they were preserved for a very long time. But then Iva said, oh, well, there's no way, like, uh, you know, they could have been preserved because they're not cold. My only theory is that maybe, like, you know, the person waited for the body to cool off so that there's no traces of it being cold. That's the only thing I can think of. So whoever this, like, half-body serial killer really is, it's probably someone who's, like, among us right now at this very moment. Just like in the last game, kind of, technically, it was like Saito like moving from body to body. So it might be the case that like once we find someone suspicious, the next person we find suspicious, that might be the same person inside their bodies or something. I don't fucking know. Now that I think about it, how does like the Somnium worlds work exactly? Is it the same as in like the, you know, the previous game where like if you stay in the Somnium world for too long, like, like uh, your bodies end up being, getting switched? That might be, you know, the same rules here. Could be something different, and that might be the very thing that like helps us understand how it works. Because depending on where we are, Mizuki shouldn't know the truth of the Somnium, like of the sinking process, right? She shouldn't know the truth of like, uh, you know, if you wait longer than six minutes, you'll end up being in a new body. So maybe the rules change this time. Maybe something happens if you wait for the Somnium timer to run out. Maybe that's like the real like spoiler here. Whatever secret that might you know be hidden from both like. Ryuki and Mizuki. Or maybe it's the case of like, maybe Ryuki knows something that Mizuki doesn't, since like, apparently Ryuki has like uh, been on the case longer than Mizuki has. So whatever we find out in his perspective will uh, give us a bigger idea of what's going on in Mizuki's perspective. In which case, I'm very like interested in how that's going to go. It's going to be like Scarlet Nexus, but with like a few extra steps and some wacky shit happening in the middle of it all. And once again, I have to really say that I'm very happy that the comedy of the game is back. I will say that the game, like, I don't know if it's just that because I'm playing on the PS4. The game's graphics look a little bit downgraded to me. I don't know why. Like, the first game had this, like, a uh, very good glow with the character's hair and such. But now it's, like, it feels like, uh, oh, the colors are a little more, like, solid. Is that what you call it? More solid than the, uh, you know, the last game's character designs? Maybe it's just the lighting, but, like, uh, I feel like... Uh, Iris's hair is a little brighter than it used to be. Like, her hair was a little darker in the last game. But again, maybe it's just the lighting. Maybe it's just, like, in the worst place possible for me to gauge whether the game looks good or not. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is the jokes and the crazy shit happening in this story. In which case, I'm very excited to, like, uh, you know, figure out what's going on in this, like, a uh, half-body serial killing case in, like, Pazuki's perspective. I hope, like, uh, Ryuki's perspective isn't completely wacky. Speaking of Ryuki, Ryuki had, like, a very, very weird moment, like, uh, where he just, like, saw this, like, 
This is it's the weirdest thing, guys. I'm, I swear, it's like I know I'm new to Urda Kuchi's work. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this fucking name. No one's told me yet. Damn it. But seriously, this that was just some wild shit, man. Like the first episode was so like crazy and and everything. While in the original game. It wasn't really this wacky in terms of like uh, how it introduced the story, and to be honest, I kind of preferred how the you know, the first game like uh, introduced everything. It was still down to earth with like all of its elements, but it still like you know had this, like you know uh, you know crazy you know stuff happening in it with Aiba and like the, the introductions of the Somnian worlds and like you know all the stuff happening there. They waited until then to introduce all the the wacky shit. But now all the wacky shit's happening like now in the first episode, and I haven't even gotten to the Somnia worlds yet, which is which is crazy. But I have a feeling that we'll get to the you know the Somnia worlds in this episode, hopefully, hopefully. Anyways, uh, let's get started with this like episode, shall we? Oh yeah, I, I can't believe I forgot about this, but I I, I actually forgot to like uh, look back into that. Uh, what was her name again? Tama or Tama time or whatever. I'll be sure to do that next time I get into like uh, Ryuki's perspective because that shit like caught me off guard way too fast. It was. What the fuck? I appreciate it, developers, but... Now, Team Popo, what's your answer? The left half of his body. What? Oh. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. That body teleported here from a parallel world! A parallel Maybe world! Ah, oh, that's nice. They actually, like, introduced that, like, uh, transition. I actually forgot that they had that in the, uh, you know, the last game. I don't know why. But it was such a really like a uh, you know cool moment. Okay, so first off, first off, first off, I gotta like uh, read up on these like uh, descriptions and such on the file evaluation. Oh yeah, I should also like uh, read up on whatever this stuff is in the, the main main menu. Investigation material. Check information on in-game terms and details of characters. Performance review. Check performance review of police work. Check grades and rewards. The what? What is this? Evaluation. You can check your evaluation by performing certain actions during the story. Achievements will be a lot, and your expected rate will go up. Higher ranks earn better rewards. Uh, I see. Sinker Class C3. Iba's Room. Change Iba's costume and receive life counseling? I'm sorry, what Iba? Oh, come on, Mizuki. I know you want to, you know, hug me real bad, just like Dante did. Oh, hell no, I don't. I'm not like that pervert. But since you asked... I want to check this out myself. I didn't think Iba had one. What does it give me exactly? Does do I gain anything out of it? Iba's room. This is Iba's room. You can communicate with Iba, ask for life advice, or dress her in different clothes. Okay, Iba. Yeah, I'm kind of bored. Uh, dress up, life advice. Uh, dress up. Worried about school. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I, I don't think it uh, did that. I'm a baby. Oh, <laughs> I'm a baby. Huh? Do you really even have any worries? Yeah, I know, I'm a baby! Uh, worries? Is it actually Mizuki talking, or is it just me talking? I'm gonna assume this is just for the, you know, the people who really like Aiba and Tama. Just like, you know, wanna pander to them. Is it bad if you don't have any? What? Why did you come here if you have no worries I could advise you on? <laughs> I want my money back! I want to see you! I had nothing better to do. I'm bored. I want my money back! Correct. Expensive work was put into this feature. Isn't that a, like, a bad thing if I want my money back, though? Work and money. Honestly, it has taken an uncomfortable amount of money. Which is why I want to understand it to the fullest, like you. This passion. I am thankful for it, let me say that. Is it just me, or does Iba's voice actor sound weird here? Anything else to do? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, can I, like, uh, dress you up? Please? Dresser, you can change your outfit here. The changed outfit will be applied in clear chapters. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. So, she won't be able to wear it in the story. Okay. Different outfits will be added to the bonus menu as you level up your evaluation class. They can be purchased by using eyeballs. Oh my god, man. It's like just dream come true. He can buy stuff with his eyeballs. All the eyeballs he's pulled out of his victims. I told you all those eyeballs I pulled out were worth it, Adate. I told you so. Costumes are now available for previously cleared scenes. Scenes available 210 Converge Chapter 0 A Strange Tale. Okay. What do I get out of this? Yay! It's dress up time. Okay. What do I get for the head? 
If it looks good on Tama, it'll look good on me. Huh, Tama's hat. That's nice. I'll give this to you. It'd be so interesting if I could, like, uh, you know, uh, have if this on her. On then nothing for the outfit, right? Yeah, no outfits. So I have to look for them in the Thomian walls, I bet. Nothing for body either. Alright. Alright, Gaiba. Hat looks cool on you. Okay, so down here is where uh, Mizuki is talking. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if I get a new weapon or something? Hey, wouldn't it be cool to get a new weapon or something? I have always thought bats with nails in them would look good on you. Oh, damn right! Should really get some. Oh, that's it? Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so time chart. Check the timeline of the story. Move to different stories from the flow chart. Okay, what does this look like exactly? Flow chart. Flow chart will allow you to check the flow of the story, branching points. This will be populated with chapters as you progress the story. When you select chapter from the destination list, you can jump to different points in the story. Okay, so how is this going to work if there's like a two perspectives exactly? Okay, so here I am. I'm not sure what direction the flow chart is going to go. But if I have to guess, I think it's going to go to the right this time. Or maybe down, like in the last one. Actually, yeah, I think it's going to go down, because I see, like, the, the dates on the left side. Okay, persons, six years ago. So it's one for a person six years ago, and one for today. That's interesting. Mizuki, Mizuki Date, female, 12, birthday, July 6th, profession, 6th grader, likes Tokotsu Bonji, eel, metal pipe, of course. Yeah, I love me my metal pipe. Just likes raw fish and perverts. Hobbies are raising Cleone. Collecting a door rabbit bird. Who the fuck is Cleone? Kleine? Kleine? I don't know. Skillful at martial arts. Her father and mother, Renju Okira and Shoko Nadami, have passed away. Actually, that's kind of like not true. I kind of like killed both of them. It felt good, right, Mizuki? Fuck you, Saito! She has been adopted by Konami Date and uses his last name. She sometimes assists Date when he needs fighting power. Yeah, which is basically all the time! Gets along with Iris, Anam- a Amame, and Kizuna. You mean like Kizuna AI? Or whoever her name was? You like VTubers, Mizuki? Never thought I'd see the day. Kuruto Ryuki, male, 23. Birthday is October 18th. Profession, Abyss Special Agent. Likes justice, duty, loyalty, and Date. Okay, you're kind of like a simp then. Dislikes evil, cheating, wicked thoughts, lies, demotions. Huh, interesting. He likes collecting convertibilna marka, whatever that is. He's skillful in parkour and gun fu. What's gun fu? A highly educated bridge boy hired right out of school. He lost his parents in a plane crash when he was young. He had been living with his younger brother until he, he too passed away when he was still in high school. Okay, not a lot to, you know, tell us about his story. Having the feeling this younger brother will play in later in the game somehow. Somehow. Alright, Tama, oh man. Thick mommy Aiba. Sex is female, according to settings. She has zero age. Birthday is April 30th. Investigation assistant. She likes comedy. Anything perverted. S and M A E 10 D 1 F. I feel like I'm going to be afraid of like uh you know looking up what this number is. Unless it's kind of like a you know I was code. Let me see. A A S E no. It's not. It's not like Dante then. She dislikes dense people, dishonest people, bad liars. Oh my gosh, she's a kinky one, and I love it. Hobbies are watching comedy videos, tanning, horse racing. Wait, but Sawa, you you don't have a skin though. Shh, can we shut the fuck up, Yuki? Her skills are in bondage, wax play, and spanking. Oh my god, they're really going all the way for this one. AI ball, an autonomous robot with an advanced AI. She's usually in the shape of an eyeball and resides in Yuki's left eye socket. She she assists Ryuki by gathering information, connecting to networks and databases, and using her x-ray and thermographic functions. Oh yeah, I didn't really point this out. I know I did point this out in my uh, uh, trailer reaction videos. How exactly did uh, Mizuki and Ryuki lose their eyeballs? Exactly, yeah, they gotta explain this, cause, you know, unless they have to actually lose their eyeballs in order to have these AI installed into them. That would actually be scary if that's how they get these 
AIs inside their eyeballs. They have to voluntarily give up their eyes in order to have them. I'm betting that they somehow lost them during the Cyclops serial killing cases? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they explain. Oh my god, a square dude! Yoneharu Enda. Wait, what? Okay, so Kimenji is just like a... a kind of like a, a... TV name, I guess. Male, 46 years old. April 12th is his birthday. Profession is comedian. He likes Ferris wheels, things that spin, bow ties, family. Okay. He dislikes Odin, super hot baths, electric shocks, spicy food, and pie. His hobbies are game commentary, short clip submissions, survival games. His skills are in quizzes, one-liners, self-proclaimed, a former quiz king turned comedian. His stage name is Andes Komeji. He has made some TV appearances but isn't very successful. His money troubles led to a divorce from his wife, and he now lives with his son, Shoma. Aw, that sucks. Oh man, jeez. They really had to have this, like, uh, you know, half of his body just down there as a picture to show that he was sliced in half. Jeez. Jin Fure, male, 29. August 29th is his birthday. He's a businessman and a writer. No one knows his likes, dislikes, hobbies, or skills. CEO of Music Food Corporations. He was also a writer that had released some of his essays to the media. His right half was found at Studio Divita. Divita? Divita. Oh yeah, uh, also, I forgot to like mention this, but one of you told me that like, uh, this game was made by Studio Divita, which is kind of like, uh, you know, a reference to Divitis, so... That's basically, like, the running thing in this game, like, uh, you know, half of something. Like, one side is a half, and the other side is a half. Same with, like, Mizuki's perspective, and, like, uh, Miyuki's perspective being two halves of a whole. And then, like, uh, these people being murdered by having their bodies cut in half. And even in the, the title screen, where, like, uh, you see a little bit of, like, the, the whole color palette being put in half. Which is a very interesting way to, like, uh, go about it. Kind of similar to how the last game was related to, like, eyeballs and such. You know, I really have always loved the subtle theming in, like, uh, the last game. You know, all that eyeball stuff. I always loved that. Alright, boss. Her name is Shizue Kuranushi. Female. Her age is 43. Her birthday is, uh, December 21st. She's commander of Abyss. She likes wine, gourd dolls, anything shiny and black. She just likes tidying up nuclear families, ex-boyfriends, her superiors at HQ. Her hobbies are frequenting host clubs in Kabukicho. Her skills are finding weaknesses and exploiting them to ensure total obedience. Yeah, she's like a dom. Ryuki's direct superior as well as Date's old friend. Her mood changes on a daily basis. She gives off a carefree vibe, but she's cunning as a fox. All right, now Iris. Iris Lagan, female. Wait, she's 18 years old? I thought like six years ago, she, oh, oh no, this is like six years ago. Ah, <clears throat> I'm such a stupid idiot. Her birthday is October 26th. Profession is Sakiba High Senior, Internet Idol. She likes singing, dancing, the occult, Mizuki, and friends. She just likes scary people like Saito Sejima. Her hobbies are singing, dancing, and game commentary. Her skills are running really fast. An internet idol affiliated with Limnusgate. Her idol name is Aset, but her fans called her Tessa. She has tons of close friends like Mizuki, Kisuna, Amame, and... <sighs> Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid... Yeah, looking back at the editing, I saw him. This game is already trash. Alright, Moma. Moma Kumakura. Male, 48, September 28th is his birthday. Chairman of the Kumakura, Shakuza family, loyalty, chivalry, Gandhi, Puff Puff, Aced, he likes, dislikes, old customs, unreasonable traditions, hobbies are watching Aced videos, collecting Aced merc, like a fucking simp, but hey, he's a better simp than Oda is. His skills are shooting, sleight of hand, beatboxing, the leader of a Yakuza group trying to clean up their act. That being said, he is also connected to the criminal underbelly and has access to information that even the police don't know. Which is probably why he's in this game again. Chimpei what guy? Oh my god, there's gonna be a lot of characters here. Oh damn it. Age is 24. Birthday is September 14th. Profession is a former Kumakura. He likes ass, erotic novels, his boss. He dislikes police, his big brother, animal cruelty. Zombies are training dogs and video editing. Skills are squinting really hard to see through the censorship. Oh my god, really? That's a skill? Alright, sure dude, sure, you do you. He was once a Kumakura, but recently left the group. When Jin Fude's body was found in Studio Div Div Divita, 
it's hard, very hard to like uh, pronounce that name off, off the bat. He was sitting in the contestant's seat with Moma and Detective Mikoto Ushidera. Yeah, the dude with the lipstick. Male, 42. His birthday is January the 4th. Police HQ detective. He likes caramel, chocolate, biscuits, and ice cream. He dislikes threats and foxes. Oh, I see. He must not like boss then. Hobbies are mobile gaming. What? I never thought like he played mobile games. Oh my god. How are you not on the streets begging for money? Skills. Can use cling wrap without messing it up. What's cling wrap? A detective from police HQ investigating the murders. Having found multiple culprits in cold cases in the past, he is known as the Melter. Oh, I see. Oh my god, Kagami, it's Kagami. You know what would be funny if like Kagami turns out to be like the, the, you know, the half-body serial killer. That would be insane. That would be one way for them to embrace the means of, uh, you know, Kagami being tired of everyone forgetting his name. Yeah, that's right. I'm always the butt of all the jokes, but now I'm the one who gets to be remembered. You will remember my name, which was... Oh shit, I forgot my own name. Damn it! Three years old. Birthday is July 20th. Profession is Inspector, Police HQ Forensic Division. He likes ear picks, dandelions, afros, and kinseren parseren. Whatever that is. He dislikes Kilantro, Ginko, and people who don't remember his name. Ah, poor Kinizolo. His hobbies are train surfing in extreme irony. Skillful at playing dead. I still haven't figured out like why he will like be good at playing dead. Like what is like the point of the skill of his? He never really presented it in like the first game, which is kind of disappointing because I wanted to see it. A talented inspector. He was assigned to the case by police issue due to his impressive skills, even though no one remembers his name. Supposedly, he's really handsome when the math. Rip Brad Venadel. Unlike Kagami, your name will never be forgotten. Wait, what? Brad Venable? Wait a minute. Oh no. Did the original voice actor of Kagami actually died? Hold on, let me check this out. Oh my goodness, he actually did die. Oh, that's such... That really sucks, man. He died like last year too. Like, when was that? Oh my goodness. That's probably after I finished AI Somnium Files or something. Yeah, I was done with like AI Somnium Files for a while after he, when he died. Oh, that's so sad. Sad. He was so funny as Kagami in the last game. He really like yo uh, managed to bring the character to life. Aww. I'm really happy that they took time to like honor him though. I really am. May you rest in peace, Brad Venable. Okay, that should be everything, right? Now for the persons of the present. God dang. Now it's Mizuki's. What the fuck's going on with your like hands, Mizuki? I have no fucking clue, but my, my, my hands look a little bit weird in this perspective. Mizuki Date, female, 18 years old. Birthday is July 6th. She's an Abyss Special Agent, second but high school's senior, and a businesswoman. She likes Aiba, Iris, Metal Pipe, and Evolver MC. She just likes raw fish and portal mag collectors. Yeah, I basically burned them all down, uh, Date. So you won't be able to find any more portal mags when you get back. Oh god damn it! And just imagine just like Date somewhere like uh, in the distance, just like uh, just smelling the burning of his like portal mag. That is how it's going to come running in when a portal mag is threatened. Hobbies are racing Cleone, just still don't know who that is, and collecting Adol Rabbit merch. She's skillful at beating up bad guys and motorcycle ride. What? She rides a motorcycle? Badass, isn't it? Way better than Dante's old ass car. Oh my god, I want to see this. Even though she's a high schooler, she was hired as an Abyss special agent by the boss. Best decision in Aiba. Female, according to settings, she's 12 years old somehow. Birthday is November 9th. Profession is investigation assistant. She likes insects, spiders, crustaceans, A0F5. And 5301B63F. I still don't know what this stuff is. I, I still don't know what these codings are. Maybe they are just codes or something. She just likes passing I am not a robot tests on websites. Yeah, but I think I think those are like in the, the last game. Hobbies are dancing, sympathizing with Salmon, skillful at hacking, fluoroscopy, fl fluoroscopy, yeah, fluoroscopy. Voice imitation and 3D modeling. AI Ball, an autonomous robot with an advanced AI. She's usually in the shape of an eyeball. She assists Mizuki with her investigations. Does not remember anything from the case six years ago. This is interesting. Okay, this should be basically the same. Yeah, basically the same for all these characters, I think. Thank goodness, thank goodness. I don't want to like uh, read different things over and over. And now for Appendix, God. Forward. This document was written for Abyss investigators. I and Abyss office worker and the author. 
I have collected information from AI balls and selected information that I thought needed additional explanation. This might contain information that you already know, but is included here just in case. Investigations are dangerous. You might lose your memory due to an accident. You can use it to regain your memory if that happens. Okay. What, is that gonna be like the major plot twist that's gonna happen in this entire game? We the gamers are going to somehow forget what happens in this game. That'd be crazy. Abyss. Remark location, multiple areas. Explanation. The acronym for Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. They are located in the 6th basement floor of Police HQ, and as their name implies, they dive into human brain to investigate criminal cases. They are supposed to be a private, secret organization, but they became known to the public due to the new Cyclops serial killings. However, they are still unofficial, underground, and not to be spoken of. Oh, I see. Intern. Short for internship. It is usually the training period when entering a company. It also refers to the training itself and the trainee. I wish I had a cute intern. Ah, okay. I wonder if it's like a Mizuki saying all this. Uchisaki, a Yakuza group located in Akasaka, Minato Ward, Tokyo. They are roughly a thousand strong, including subdivisions. They are known for illegal gambling, money lending, illegal trade of drugs and firearms, human trafficking, and the underground bloomers trade. I see. View Cube, this whack shit that's been happening. A globally popular video streaming service, kind of like YouTube. Those who release videos on the surface are called VCubers. It's currently the number one job elementary school children want to do when they grow up. Wow, really? That's sad. X-ray vision. AI balls are equipped with X-ray vision. The X-rays are not shot out of the AI ball itself. There is actually consistent radiation raining down on Earth from outer space called space radiation. AI balls utilizes space radiation, which includes x-rays to use x-ray vision. It functions similar to an x-ray exam at the doctor's, so unfortunately, no underwear. Naked ladies or first chakras can be seen without it. Damn it! God damn it! Ha, ah, since be you, Dante! Sucks to be your pervert, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Evolver. An exciting, volatile, versatile gun is given to all of this investigators. Evolver is an acronym for this gun. Evolver. By using magnetism, it is capable of shooting many different kinds of bullets. Mizuki's Evolver is unique and called the Evolver MC. MC meaning Mizuki Custom. Ah, I see. So not only does she get a technologically advanced metal pipe, she also gets Date's gun. God, if only I wish I could just like put my metal pipe beside his gun and just shoot it at people. That would be freaking amazing. Come on, Ivan, let's do it. Oh, God, no. You're way too young to be doing that, Mizuki. Oh, God, it's been like 40 minutes. I'm still on this stuff. Forensics. Forensics perform appraisals and inspections and develops new technology. Gan Harva. An Indian mythology that is a half-god, half-beast spirit that imbibes sense. They do not eat meat, but they are carnal. Okay. Kumakura Office. The Kumakura group is a secondary group of Uchisakis. Unlike the Uchisaki, they strive to be clearer organization. What the hell is a clean Yakuza organization? No clue. Section 2. A police department which handles murder and assault. There are nine sections. Ushidero was a member of Sector 2, but since the HB case went unsolved for six years, he got moved to a section which specializes in cold cases. I see. Hands-on. Hands-on assistance is not sexual innuendo at all. Nope. No way. Nope. Not at all. Jurisdictions. Jurisdiction refers to where an incident happens in which police office is in charge of that incident. For example, if something happens in Tokorozawa, Saitama, the Tokozawa station will take care of that incident. Okay. Sinker. A person who sinks. <laughs> yeah. That's Dante's explanation to Iris. Sink. Sink is short for... Photosynaptic neurocoupling. The act of going into someone's brain is sinking. Because the sinker goes deep into the subconscious, the term is a play on words of sync and synchronize. Special Investigations Office, a special investigation force with specialists in cold cases. Please let this be done. Studio Divita, the name of a video capture studio, is derived from the Hindu word for dualism. Ah, I see. Well, if that's going to be playing into like uh, what's going on in this game. If I ever get to play it, by the way. Nile, an SNS service that allows for communication via message or voice via smartphone, tablet, or PC. You can even get a set stickers. Make sure to get those right away. Am I done yet? Free to free. The video contained in the QR code link on the signboard at Abyss. We call it the QR video. Popo, a nickname for police officers. 
It's meant to be somewhat derogatory. Really? I thought it was like, uh, you know, uh, the cops or something. Police HQ. Police headquarters. Alright, finally we're, f we're done. Oh man, that took forever. That took way too long for my liking. Is there still something else I need to do here? I don't know where though, but whatever. Whatever, I'm done. Oh jeez, that took way too long. That took way too long. Alright, let's like, uh, you know, do more looking around, I guess. Oh man, we're never gonna get into like the, the actual story, are we? Hmm, seems like, uh, you know, the characters are going to be a little bit more relaxed with like the comedy, I think. I think anyways, they're not doing the comedy so far. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. Yeah, I see. A picture of Ganesha. Yeah, no comedy so far, which is a little interesting. No jokes or anything. Okay, Ryuki. Let's do this. Where's Genny? Wake him up. About the HP case. Let's see, look. Ryuki. Oh, God damn it, Ryuki! Don't be like Date for fuck's sakes! Can't handle another Date! Alright, wake him up. Come on, Ryuki. Wake up. Uh, I am so fucking wasted, man. I've seen a lot of weird shit like all those years ago. Fuck. I am so, so, so. I don't know how I should be feeling right now. Ah, god dang it. Wake him up. Hey, I said wake up. Wake up! Oh, look, a porno mag. Come on, I know you made those, uh, simp Date. I know you're a simp or a Date for some fucking reason. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. Ah, damn it! I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Yeah, he would. Come on, wake him up. Come on, big brother. Wake up. Wake up! If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late. <laughs> what are you doing, Mizuki? Oh my god, that's the. Dashi woke him up. He's awake? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. <laughs> <sighs> of course, my game has to have a stupid Dante. Of course, of course. The one thing I asked, no Dante. Why did they give me this bullshit? God! Alright, uh, where's Genny? Whoever that is. They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Genny, being this man? Full name. Oh my. oh my god! Okay, I know this is a guy, I know. He's not like the, the weird square dude, but... Okay, what a freaky mask you got, dude. What a freaky mask. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. All those times, I was really freaked out. Yeah, Genny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. But where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Okay, uh, about the HB case. Jin Furoe's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I didn't really like, uh, point this out yet, but for some reason, the aspect ratio is a little bit off in this game. For, for some reason, like, it, it's not like full screened or anything, and I don't know why. So sorry if you guys are thinking, oh, Jarabi, why is your like, uh, video looking weird in terms of like, the aspect ratio? It's not me, guys. I tried to look into it, and like, it really isn't me. Just look at this. See, it looks perfect on like uh, my PS4, but when I go into the game, it's a little weird. I don't know why that's the case. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Eh, I don't fucking know. It's <sighs> Urukuchi's work. Answer me, Ryuki. You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? What about Tama? What is she doing? How should I know? Should we try wink sinking? Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery. Whatever that is. Ryuki, please 
Tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. Well, you got to play my perspective in order to figure that out. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case... I can finally find Dante and beat the fuck out of his stupid ass! Come on! Give me the deets! Maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. He is quite intoxicated. Ugh. In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. What incident? He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. Ah, uh, I see. So, like, he was going crazy a, a little bit. For s I never understood what that was exactly. I, th I, I, I didn't know. I thought it was just Udaguchi's being weird and all that at the weirdest part. But apparently, he has he's had some kind of like a mental issue. I knew it. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. Somehow, he's not dead. So, if we solve this case. We might be able to heal his trauma? I kinda wish we uh, that didn't happen, cause fuck this little scrunt. I see, technically he's older than me, technically, somehow, even though we kinda look the same age, but whatever, whatever, Amy logic, of course. It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. What will you do? Yeah, even if you like pulled out his eyeball too. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, seriously, I bought that joke was in poor taste. Isn't it obvious? I'll sync with him. Oh, wow, really? Okay, didn't think I would like uh, sync with him of all people. All right, let's head back to Abyss HQ then. Where that is? Yeah, there it is. Oh my God, wonder what it looks like. You know, the, the sync room, probably the same. They probably didn't make any changes. This HQ, February 10th, Sunday, 23... 23 hours. Oh, yeah, this is... What? Pewter's here? Hey, here, Pewter. What are you doing here? The fuck? I thought you were arrested. I'm guessing that, like, if something happened differently, like, uh, leading up to... to this game or something. Was well, six years ago, right? I think, like, the Cyclops case was, like, six years ago, I think. All right, let's check this place out again. Creepy girls used to climb out of those things in the old days. Creepy girls? That's right. Or was it just one girl? If you copy the tape, is there more than one girl? All right, but what the fuck are you talking about? Or maybe one is real and the rest are clones? They didn't do a good job of explaining it. Either way, it's creepy. Yeah, interesting. Brain tube style monitor. Or brawn tube. Oh my god, is he gonna say it? Oh, she doesn't say it. The iconic line that made me love her. I wanna beat Dante in the head with it! <laughs> that, that, honestly, that one moment in, like, the last game made me fall in love with Mizuki in an instant. I wanna beat the fuck out of Dante with his giant table! Oh my god. The good old days. The good old days. I've, I've oh. always... Oh my god, the same woman, I swear, what the fuck? I'm still here. I've always been here. Wait a minute. I'm still here. I've always been here. Have I recognized that voice actor from somewhere? Hey, did you hear something? Oh, yes, that's the cleaning lady. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Man! What a weird fucking job I have! Now I know why Dante ended up the way he did! Wait, what? Oh my god. Should be everything, right? Oh my god, man. There's, like, there's barely, like, uh, any, like, comedy this time around, which is kinda sad, but, uh, hey, whatever, like, uh, advances the plot faster, I suppose. Okay, I thought with, uh, Ryuki? Ryuki slumped over, like, a bent nail. Guess this why they called it hammered! Ha! Get it! Get it! Get it! Okay, Mizuki, shut up. All right, talk to him. Hey! Mizuki, I think you're wasting your time trying to talk to him. He's so soaked in alcohol, you could light his breath on fire with a match. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea, Pure. Can we do that? No, uh, that's not exactly the best idea, Mizuki. Yep, that's my new Pewter voice. Yo, Ryuki. 
Get up. Ah, uh, careful, Mizuki. If you wake him up now, we'll be the ones mopping up the mess. Okay. All right. Hey there, Peter. What happened to you? You were arrested, like, uh, you know, police in, like, prison or some kind of, like, a uh, facility in, the, like, the last game, and we didn't see you again. How'd you, like, get out? Okay, uh, where's boss? Wait, you didn't see her at the stadium? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did! I did, but she's not back yet? Of course not. This is boss we're talking about. Yeah, of course, of course. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. Ugh, great. I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. Yes, you and me both, Mizuki. You and me both. By the way, I was in love with your father. Wait, what? What? Okay, so about Pewter. His real name is Futa Amanoma. But everyone calls him Pewter. I'm sure... Oh yeah, sorry, I keep forgetting to like, uh, do this in Mizuki's voice. I'm sure you can figure out why. Not really. Is there like a hidden pun or something? Okay, about the case. I got the report. Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divitus six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? Yeah. The corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. So there must not have been a real body. That's the only thing you can think of. The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Today is also February 10th. Oh, really now? Interesting. So, the discovery was a year apart. I mean, six years apart. What could it mean? Mmm! Six years! Oh my god! What a the winky thing that six years would be the very thing that, like, uh, you know, ties these two together. But in that case, like, uh, were there other, like, victims of the, you know, the half by serial killer? That we're going to see later on? Not entirely sure, but that could be possible. Like, once we get to Yuki's perspective, we'll see the victims for the first time. I think that's how it's going to work. Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Yep! It's going to be my second time, technically. Well, actually, my first, but if you're not counting, like, the, the last game. Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but... What I mean is, you haven't gotten permission from Boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course. And... And... Her eye? She lost her eye? Left eye. Oh, wait. Is it possible that Iris died? I think Iris died. That could be the only person, aside from Dot, that, that she lost. That she lost Iris or something. I hope that's not the case, because god dang, Iris went through so much in the last game, only to die in this one. That'd be bullshit. At least we oh, wait, no. To extract your eye to insert the AI ball. Oh, I'm, so, I'm such a stupid AI. It was her left eye, of course. Of course, that's how she lost her eye. There's nothing left to extract. I'm sorry, I kind of like missed that. What'd you say? Your left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. Oh, really now? Did someone pull out her eyeball or... Is that way it was destroyed because like uh, the veins that connect the eyeballs to the brain would have to be intact, right? For this to work. So she must have gotten her eyeball pulled out by someone. Maybe Saito Sejima, maybe he's still around. I am glad the room was vacant. Yeah, it felt so good. Thank you, Mizuki. So comfortable in there. Shut up, Aiba. Shut the fuck up. I don't do well with roommates. Yeah, get back in there, fucking bitch. Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Yes, it's all written by Udakuchi. You know how he does his, like, writing? Yeah, 
I know, but I don't care. Hey, I saw you files fan all the way. Don't worry. I'm gonna be mind fucked, like, for sure, but no, come on, come on, it can't be that bad. Jeremy's probably going to, like, uh, predict a plot twist, like, uh, later on, and, you know, you won't be that much of a surprise. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. So, technically, she did give me permission. Uh... Come on, you know I'm right. I'm always right. I'm a Zuki. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I know, I know. Come on, come on, let's do this. I see. Then let's get started. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. All right, let's do it. Oh no, Peter, don't you say it! Don't you say it! Don't you say it! Come on, I want to say it! No, don't say it! Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, they finally brought it back. I thought, like, uh, Peter was not gonna appear in this, like, game, because, like, he was arrested, but he's finally back to remind us every single time that we have Six minutes. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking hate this. I gotta, I'm gonna hate this so bad. God, Date, you are so, so lucky to be missing right now. Good! Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. Oh, so it's still here then. So you still get your body swapped. Interesting. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You told me a million fucking times. God dang. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Yes, yeah, definitely not gonna be the last. Not with you around. Fuck! Okay then. Let's begin. Alright, time for the wacky shit that's gonna happen in the Somnium Worlds. Gonna be dope. Oh my god, no. Been practicing. How's my dancing? I hope Nico B didn't get an aneurysm watching that. Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Yeah, like a. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Didn't like a Dotsy call her a shrimp in like the last game too? That was so funny. A fluorescent shrimp. Oh no, not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you up. <laughs> hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, oh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Ah, this is like a... an interrogation room. We're gonna see Saito in here! In, like, Boss's body while Dotsi's interrogating him. Oh, Mizuki. Do you know your way around Somnia? Yeah, well, I kinda was inside Somnia one, once upon a time, which was kinda weird. I don't know why we're not doing that now. If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. And you will be told that you'll have six minutes to do it every single time. I hope you're ready. Nope. No, I'm not. Would you like a refresher? Hmm, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't really need a refresher because, like, you know, I understand the mechanics. So basically, like, you have to look around and uh, you basically have these, like, timies that occasionally come by, which will lower the amount of time you have. But if you stand still, like, the flow of time will, like, go way, way slow. So you have a lot of time to, you know, search around and, like, you know, think about your, like, next step and all that. It's not really that hard, but it can be hard if you're not careful. So I don't think I need it. Nah, it's fine. I've synced plenty of times already. Well, if you do run into any issues, you can always check the manual. The manual explains syncs and somnia comprehensively. Manual. The tutorial can be checked from menu, file, and manual. Okay. Got it. Thanks. All right. Then. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Well, before anything. Somnium scan. Activate. Ah, she's doing it again. 
but in like a, you know, lower frame rate, because, you know, I'm on the PS4, god dang it. I feel this game would have been looked better on the PC, which I unfortunately, stupidly didn't get. Okay, mental lock number one, mental lock number two, mental lock number three. What's that something to do with the camera? Because, like, uh, depending on, like, where, like, the mental locks are on, that'll be, like, the key. Uh, the camera will be the, the first mental lock. Dispel Ryuki's hallucinations to find the truth. Ryuki is trapped by hallucinations. Help him uncover them and discover the truth. Okay, let's try it. Hmm. This layer of Ryuki's Somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. Alright. Oh, there's no time limit left. Remember the case and remind them of whatever that Chinese is. Lock info. In the lock info, you can find the objective, depth, and keys. When stuck in a Somnium, open the lock info to find more clues. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I remember, like, uh, I was kind of confused by this, so, in the last game, so. Here's the paths. Okay, there's two paths here. So that means this is going to be when, like, uh, you know, the story will branch off. Here's the thing, so, what I did in the last game was basically, like, complete the entire Somnium world and, like, unlocked both of the paths, but then, like, I chose the path that I first, like, uh, you know, unlocked. I'm not sure if that's something I want to do in this game or not. I kind of want to, like, uh, do the same thing as I usually do, which is, like, complete the Somnium worlds in full, because I kind of don't like having to, like, uh, go back and, like, replay a stage in a new episode. Because that would be so awkward. So for this like uh, episode for now, I'll do that same way of doing it. So for this episode, I'll just like uh, complete the Somnium world and go from there. A folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. Okay. Sit and stand. Okay, sit on it. Try sitting on it. There. Oh, what? Nah, jeez. The fuck's going on here? Ah, I'm going. I'm. I'm losing my. I'm losing my mind right now. Ryuki. Mizuki. Now is your chance to question him. Uh, I see. So it'll tell you when you're at the, like the lock or the pathway. Tell me about the HP case. Appeal to his emotions. Slap him awake. Uh, okay, tell me about the HB case. Ryuki, can you tell me what you know about the HB case? Why do you keep making me remember? Damn it, damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Please. Oh, does something happen in his perspective to make him like this? Stop! Aiba? No! Oh. But you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? Oh, an explosion. Interesting. That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? That sounds like something. A clue of some kind. Ryuki, do you know the culprit? What is this? Wait, it's a reverse sink. What? What? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. Wow. What? What? Oh my goodness. No way. Huh? This is There's no way we're doing it like this. That has got to be so awesome. So now Yuki is sinking with like Mizuki. 
Dude, what a twist. I didn't see that one coming. Finally, I get to play as like a Mami Tama. Mr. Date's house. 15 eyeballs gained. Remember the case, remind them of. Yeah, whatever. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I didn't actually see her full design. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of porn of this woman for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so. Here's the map. Oh, it's one place to go, it seems. Everything else is like kind of like worthless. Here's a Mizuki's like 100 kilogram bench presser. Ah, fond memories. I love this place. Okay, so inspect. What is this? Soup? Okay. I. The culprit's name. I don't know. I know. Oh, wait. Is this where the, the story gonna branch off? Like, I have a feeling that, like, Ryuki might know, but there's also a possibility that he might just, like, you know, name someone without thinking about it. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows, so I'll go the I don't know path. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Intrusion thwarted. So did I branch off the path? Seems like it. We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. Oh, so if I chose the other option, he might look like a uh, kept going. So was everything okay? Baby! Wow well, no, this never happened before, to be honest, Mizuki. This never happened before! It should be. But it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. Eh, hopefully. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen? No clue. There's a lot of stuff happening in this, like, one Somnium world. What was this place? What is this? Nope. Yep, we're in a different path now. Remember the case. Close in on Ryuki. This place is. It's the cathedral. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. Oh, it's Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. Gee, seems like Ryuki's gone through a lot, hasn't he? Wait, Mizuki. Even though I just met him. You can only remain insomnia for six minutes, 360 seconds. Oh, for the love of God! You guys are telling me this even while I'm in Insomnia World? Fuck all of you! For some reason or another, the passage of time in the interrogation room was slower. But that is not the case now. Yeah, maybe it's because it was the tutorial section. Nah, that's gotta be some stupid reason. Nah, nah, I'm being a silly billy. You need me to find the info within six minutes, right? I got it. Yes, fire! Yeah, I, I get it! I get it, guys! I get it! While I remain still, time almost stops. But time progresses when I am in motion. That's the system that Pewter came up with, right? I swear, that Pewter is like a tech god. Thank you, XCon! <laughs> That's an interesting way to compliment someone. Anyway, if you are stuck, simply stop moving and observe your surroundings. All right. Look at the map and try to get a hold of the situation. 
Understood. Yes, yes, I get it. I will look at the map this game. Even though I never did that in the last game, which is kind of screwed me over. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, for the reminder for Droppy! You shut up, Izuki, shut up! Shut up! Go ahead and check that don't display this message again box. <laughs> I don't have that function. Alright, let me check this map then. Eh, I don't see anything right off the bat. You know what? I think it kind of shined a little bit. I guess that's something I gotta go to, right? Seems like it. There's also this eyeball here. Can I get it? Come on, let me grab it. Uh, oh? oh, there it is. That was weird. I couldn't, like, see it. There's a lock here. Hmm. So it's all over here, right? Wh what's this? We're surrounded. The rubble turned into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn. We cannot get through. We need to find a way out of here. Hmm. It's about that torch. Two torches, actually. Probably this one. A brazier. I can interact with this for whatever reason. Hmm, inspect, breathe out. Inspect it. It looks like a normal brazier. Touch it. No. <laughs> no! Do you see this thing? It's gonna burn me up! Please, come on. Just the tip, please. Oh my gosh, Mizuki, you're being so playful. I love it. Okay then. God! I don't know which is worse to have a partner a playful child or a pervert. What? Or not? So it's fire that's not hot? This fire must have shadow traits. Shadow traits? Different properties from the real world. For example, consider fire that is not hot. It is as though it is missing a property that it has in the real world. These shadows are usually heavily affected by the nature of dreams. So we might not extinguish this fire in the usual, predictable fashion. Yeah, in the wacky fashion. Gotta have some, some, some stupid happen in the me middle of it. Ryuki's dream is trapped by shadows. The shadows are... Mizuki, I have obtained a key. What's that? You don't know what a key is, Mizuki? A key is a new function that Pewter came up with. Oh, I see. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. That's weird. Even though dreams themselves aren't defined by rules. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. So the more I search, the more hints I get. I see. A key is a clarification of a Somnium's rules. At the start of a sink, it is hidden, but they open as you inspect things. Keys are crucial to reach the depths of the Somnium. When stuck, try checking them. Alright. In the lock info, you can find the objective, depth, and keys. Got it. It's interesting. Ryuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are... It might be a lot better to inspect everything before we go to where we need to go. Or something. Probably. It's a torch. It's on fire. Okay, so inspect. It's a normal torch. I can feel the heat of the fire. There is nothing different. Oh, I see. Okay, update keys. Ryuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are always missing a single aspect. Okay. Is that everything in the map? I think it is. A brazier and a torch. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe out, breathe in. Hmm. So the key here says... Yuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are always missing a single aspect. A single aspect. I would did say that like uh, torches like these are like uh, taken out like uh, the regular way. So let me try to breathe this in. It's a torch. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe in what? 
The torch, duh. What do you mean, duh? That wasn't an obvious answer. I want you to extinguish it by sucking in with your nose. Yeah, do it. Do it, you coward. Do it! If you do, then I'll eat the brown part of this banana! Mizuki, you don't even have anything in your hand in the real world! I have never heard of such a thing. You'll never know till you try. Come on! It can be fun! Fine. Oh, God, Mizuki, you really are a handful. Huh? Ah! I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Okay. Interesting, it didn't work. So I guess it's, it's just like, uh, breathe out? Oh, got bigger. Wow. That was so cool! I could do well as a street performer. That looks fun. I'm gonna try that at home. Uh, don't, don't, Mizuki, don't. Please don't. I'm kidding. Blowing it out won't work. Okay. Guess the other one actually was the right one. A brazier. Dang. Okay, try breathing in. Maybe this will work. If this brazier is a shadow, we can't extinguish it in the normal way. Let's try something that doesn't normally extinguish fire. Oh, are you serious? It's not the other one, but this one? Alright, suck in really hard. Really? Really? Hard! Okay, seriously, Mizuki, you really are like a giving off your date. I do have amazing suction. Giggity, giggity. <sighs> Oh my god, that's a weird shaking animation. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. Oh, fuck you, Mizuki. Fuck you. Huh? Deja vu? Looks like the shadow traits were the key after all. Alright. We're getting there. Hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? If we do. We cannot be wasting time. All right, let's chase after Ryuki. If you get lost, use the map. Oh, what the fuck? You already told me this already, Aiba. Yeah, I know. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. All right, let me see. There's only one left. Let's do something else. So, hey, uh, oh, talk for 25 seconds. Hey, Ryuki. It's not my fault. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Damn it! Ah, great. We are trapped in this space again. But if we get rid of something with the shadow tree, maybe we can get out. All right. Ryuki is. He's still holding on to. And I see. So evolver. An evolver is floating. Inspect it. Shoot Ryuki. Shoot yourself. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh... Ooh. Okay, um, inspect it. It's an Evolver. Standard issue for Abyss members. Is it Ryuki's? Unless there is a special request, all members are issued the same firearm, so we cannot tell. But there is one thing I notice. What is it? I do not feel any electromagnetic forces. The Evolver utilizes electromagnetism, so it should be emitting electromagnetic waves. Oh, maybe it's one of those shadow trait things. Perhaps. Hmm. Oh, yay! I got a timey! You know what a timey is, don't you? Nope! Um, it's like the useful item that changes the flow of time, right? Somehow! This makes no fucking sense! God! For the most part. Timey is a material capable of modifying the way the brain processes time. Okay. By using this, you can slow down or speed up time in the Somnium world. I invented it. But why did you invent, like, the death timey still pure, you asshole? You go, pewter. You cannot hold on to too many at a time, so be sure to use them as they come. All right. Simple enough. So let me see. Did I get anything from that, though? No, I didn't, for some reason. Which is weird. Okay. It's a bottle of brandy. Hmm, brandy. Okay, I can't use the timey now. Oh my god, it's like equal 20. Maybe I should like hold on to these like uh, other timeys. Use, cancel, okay. So inspect it. Hmm, it looks like a normal brandy bottle. Is this Ryuki's favorite drink? Yes, 
I've seen Ryuki drink this brand before. Ryuki was drinking right before the sink, which is probably why it showed up in his dream. Geez, Ryuki really likes drinking, doesn't he? He's just a drunkard. Ah, oh, God damn it! Can I please get a normal person in my life for once? I do think Ryuki has a reliance on alcohol. Though it is all mental, it is not easy to overcome such an addiction. You don't have to sympathize with him, but you should at least understand. Nope! Fuck him! I see. Fuck him right at pussy! I mean, what did I say? What did I say? Duh. I don't know, I just had that, like, meme in my mind. Sorry. Okay, it doesn't really, like, give me any keys from examining it for some reason. Which is just weird. Thought it would, but it didn't. So, what do I do now? Because it's just, like, a... It's probably, like, the gun, right? And I don't think, I don't think he would want me to, like... Point the gun at him, right? It's an evolver. Hmm. Maybe someone like a uh, shoot it at like uh, himself or something. Like uh, someone killed themselves with a gun or something. Probably. That's probably it. Which method do you want to try? Inside the mouth, below the chin, or on the temple? Oh, three! I want it. I want to see it hardcore. Uh, you don't have any second thoughts about this? I do, but my job is to support you, Mizuki. Above all else, I believe in and obey your orders. Uh, I see. Thanks. In that case, can you ignore my last command? What the? Oh. Iba. Iba. It was a blank. My ears are ringing. <sighs> Jeez. Your nose and ears have been through a lot today, huh? I have other holes. I'll be fine. What were you planning on using the other holes for? Was that actually sexual? It appears obeying your command was the right thing to do. Good job, Mizuki. Well done. Yeah, I'm a smart nugget. Oh, uh, yeah. Glad it worked. <laughs> oh my god, I like Mizuki's like facial expressions. They're so funny. <sighs> oh, oh. Okay, if you can calm the fuck down. Just put down the gun, please. Ryuki. Damn it. Damn it. That's no use. Me dying isn't gonna fix anything. Are these feet? I can't die yet. I'll carry this forever. Interesting. Close in on Ryuki. Okay, get Ryuki this time. Ryuki is, he's still holding on to his regrets and. Let's chase after Ryuki. Okay. You have four minutes remaining. I know, I know. Anything new on the map, though? Not the moment, okay. This again. Create another one. But now we know what to do. We need to find a thing with shadow traits and break it, right? Yes, most likely. But it looks like we can only interact with Ryuki. Okay, it must have something to do with his regrets, then. All right, uh, let me talk to this one then. Ryuki, C. Hey, Ryuki. You okay there? I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm really sorry. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Okay, he's doing absolutely spectacular. I'll see you later then. Bye-bye. Uh, inspect. It's like five seconds, so it's not really that big of a deal. I don't want to, like, uh, use the half yet, but... I possibly could uh, inspect him a little bit. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> he has a scrawny face, but it's a Ryuki that can be found anywhere. Um, Ivo, what were you doing, like in the those like uh, last moments? What? I was doing just a speed trick on him. Yeah, but did you really have to do that while he was like uh, contemplating about the worth of his life? Yep. Totally! No, do it again! Wow, this was Date's partner, holy fuck! Found anywhere? There is nothing wrong with him. 
So this Ryuki isn't a shadow. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Possibly. It'll Ryuki be. Hey, Ryuki. I can't forget about what I did. I have no future. All right, time to like use at least one timey though. So I'll get thirty seconds from it though, which is kind of dangerous. But I mean, come on, it's just like a few seconds. But okay, you know what? I do the half. Get use half on him. His face is pitiful, but it is a typical Ryuki. What's a typical Ryuki? Pitiful? Ah, of course. Why am I not surprised? I mean, he looks normal. He's probably not a shadow. Okay. And this Ryuki. Ryuki. I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> and it's John Loco. And let's see, inspect. Here's just flower inspect him. Hmm. His face irritates me, but it is the usual Ryuki. But Ryuki doesn't usually look this happy. Huh. He doesn't have a shadow. No shadow. That means this Ryuki is... Yes. It could be the shadow trait we are looking for. Alright. Now, what do we do? I did nothing wrong. Alright, now what do we do with him? Kick him. Agree with him. I uh, probably should have kept that half. I, I probably should have. Okay, then let's try... Uh kicking him then good timing I was getting annoyed oh you seem enthusiastic about this get a hold of yourself uh, huh he didn't kick him Iba didn't connect Yuki is burdened by what happened in the past he's still holding on to his regrets and I wonder do I need to get all the like the keys I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, let's like uh try this one then. Agree with him. This Ryuki doesn't have a shadow. And something's weird about how positive he is. That must be the shadow trait. So we should do the opposite of what he wants. Yes, the don't encourage the psychotic breakdown plan. Oh, I see. That's that's obviously what I should have done. Ota would probably love the praise, but this is Ryuki, the honor student we're talking about here. Ryuki, you're doing well. Just forget it all. You did nothing wrong. No one's going to resent you. Boss and everyone else accepts you. Just rest. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. N no, that's not... Stop! It's all my fault! Which is why I needed to do something! There we go. Alright! Our plan worked! No, 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 no! No forgiveness! No mercy! Never! Never! Oh my gosh. Alright, we're getting there. Ryuki is burned by what happened in the past. He's still holding on to his regrets and is in denial. The fire. There's no going back. What is Ryuki holding on to that's hurting him like this? Is it possibly like Date's death or something? Like something happened to Date and it was his fault? Or something to that degree. Not entirely sure. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's something over there, isn't there? Can't talk to Ryuki, can I? Something's over there. Three minutes left. You can do this. What's this? Hey, this police ID is. Huh? What? <sighs> what happened? I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. You can solve everything. Everything. Flood. 
blood. Oh. Let's get out of here, Mizuki. <laughs> Wonder who that was. Was it was it Date? Date died or I don't think he would die. That would be bizarre, but could have been someone else. It could have been. Five hundred eyeballs obtained. There we go. Two ten dispossessed Ryuki chapter zero. Oh, we're going to Ryuki's perspective. Are we? Wow, what an interesting, interesting way to go about this. Very interesting. Okay, so I don't know what to make of this. To be honest, I actually don't know. So, like, if we complete a Somnium world. We'll go into, like, one of these characters' perspective, but if I completed that, like, Somnium world the other way, I'll be Mizuki. Is that what's going to happen here, or what? I'm not sure yet, I'm not too sure, but I might as well check that out. I might as well. So where are we on the float chart? Don't you want to talk to someone to talk to? No, not yet, uh, Trauma. Stop. Yeah, yeah, stop displaying this one notification, please. Here we are. I see, so... If we go via this perspective, we'll do it in Mizuki's perspective. I see, I see. What a clever way to do this. So let me get, go back into that Somni world again and start the scene, because I want to do it in like a, you know, uh, Mizuki's perspective as well and try to figure out what the other side was. What a clever way to do it though. What a clever way to do it. I think I have an idea of how I'm going to like, uh, do this game from now on because of this. All right, let's try this like, you know, version. Now kind of like going to check this mirror here. It is the same two-way mirror as the interrogation room. Due to the lack of a wall, it appears to be floating. Interesting. Who is the most beautiful person in this world? I know it's going to be me, but ask anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, sure, Mizuki, sure. Mirror, who is the most beautiful person in the world? No, you're doing it wrong. It's mirror mirrored on the wall. Who is the fairest person of them all? Whatever the same thing. Oh, hi! It's me, Kagami! <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I almost missed this. Yes, it's me, Kagami. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who is this guy again? I kind of forgot his name. Oh, come on, I just got through saying it. No, it isn't. That is so funny. It is a two way. Ah, uh, break it. Let's do it. Huh? It went through. Oh no, my hand is gone. I, but you okay? Just kidding. Ah, fuck you, Aiba! Ugh. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, it appears that the mirror will not break. Okay. Well then, uh, let's get started with this chair. Actually... A folding chair. Let me check the stand part. Stand? On the chair? Yeah. Huh. Well? Well, it is now easier for me to change light bulbs if necessary. Right. Yeah. Alright then. Nothing much to it. Maybe appeal to his emotion? Let's try that. Ryuki, I am sure your mother watching you from heaven doesn't want to see you like this. Just let it all out. It will make you feel better. This isn't working. We need to ask him more directly. Don't make your mother cry, Ryuki! You can atone for your sins. And when we are done here, we can visit her grave. How does that sound? I think you're enjoying this way too much. Yeah, but pretty much am. You're so fun. Dante never lets me do this. Slap him awake. Mizuki, you cannot get away with this just because you're a member of law enforcement. Oh, come on, but I want to do it. According to Criminal Law Entry 195, Special Civil Assault, you can be punished for abuse of authority. Chill, we're in a dream. It's fine. Hmm. Well, at this rate, we won't get anything out of him. Wake up! Oh my gosh, I actually slapped him. <sighs> fine. Do it again! Do it again! Again! Screw it! Guess I'll just do what has to be done. 
world oh yeah scout up is right now <laughs> that was so funny you know it's kind of weird that we never got to like uh, go into a somnium world for the first time as her that always weird would it be out oh by the way i should probably do this now just just you know just to see it because i've been like uh, holding off for too long take your time i'll be gentle all right so dress you up let's do that I will wear anything. I don't mind taking it off either. Oh my god, Tama, what the fuck's wrong with you? I love it, but oh my god. Yeah, looks good. Hmm, okay. Kinda like your yeah, hat though. Looks good. Looks good in ya. Okay, give me life advice, mommy Tama. Worried about money? That's right. That too. No. I want Five gazillion yen? That too. Mm, talking about business. My financing is sorted out. My sales are increasing. I have no job. My business is booming. I have no job. That must be rough. How about working at Matsushita Diner or Brahmin? Mm, I think it work. I hear they're both struggling to find people. If you're a woman, you can work at Sunfish Pocket. I hear the pay is good. If you're a man, why not drive a taxi? If that guy can do it, so can you. Oh, that guy, I remember. The, the Spanish dude. I think he was Spanish. I think. Not entirely sure. Okay, so this is like a Buki. Half Might is at half strength. Half Might is at half strength. Go beyond Half Might. It's your turn. I feel like this is a joke that I'm not getting, though, to be honest. Alrighty then. Nice talk with you, Tama. Now we gotta, like, watch uh, Ryuki lose his marbles now. Alright, I know. Oh, goodness. What? Oh. This is interesting. I actually don't know the culprit. Oh my gosh. Who is the culprit? Someone with like a... Wait. No way. No way. No way this is real. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, is that wrong? Intrusion thwarted. Was it Kanabe Date? There's no way it was Date, but that text box fitted perfectly though. And now I can't like go uh, do the other path now. Oh, that is very interesting. I feel like that's a red herring though. That's gotta be a red herring somehow. So I can't actually go into that other route now. Yeah, I, I, I got booted out. I can't think of any other name than Kanabe Date, but it can't be that. I got it wrong, so thankfully it's not Konami Date, but I'm not entirely sure. It could be someone else. All right, then, since I got it wrong, I'm going to go back to where I'm supposed to be then. Since the game wants me to go on a clear path. Okay, guys, that was a very interesting Somnium world we went through. It, it really was. I really liked the most of the improvements they added to that world. It was so fun. So now, I can't do the usual method that I've been using for the Somnium worlds. I have to do it a little differently now, because I can't really go on both the paths. There's definitely a story reason, definitely. And I'm still not sure what the correct answer to that, like, uh, uh, answer was. I didn't think I had to, like, uh, answer with a name, to be honest, but... Apparently, I have to, and I have to figure out what the name is before I can, like, uh, continue on with that route. Or I can just, like, randomly guess it from this list of, like, characters we have right now, or something. Let me see, like, what characters can fit in here. Or maybe it's one of these characters, but their, like, names are not really shown or something. It has to be someone with, like, a, a name that is... No way. No fucking way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Let me go back. No. No, please tell me I'm wrong. Please let this be a total waste of time. But fuck me. If this actually is the case. If this actually is the case, I'm gonna lose my marbles. I've gotta be wrong. I've gotta be wrong. That Udakuchi has to have, like, accounted for someone being stupid enough to do this. 
There's no fucking way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, no. No! Okay, thank I god. Know, I don't know. Thank fucking god, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Thank god. Whew. I thought it was gonna be Mizuki the entire time. Thank god. Thank you, Urukuchi. Because if Mizuki was the boy behind all of this and I managed to get that right, I I, I feel like uh, that would have like, uh, done a lot of damage to the story. I wonder if someone actually managed to figure out on the first try, figure out the name before they even like uh, got further into the story and managed to somehow unlock the true ending or something. Never crazy. I don't know who the name could be though, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure who on this person's list it could be. It has to be someone that we haven't like really met yet into the story or something. Something to that degree. But yeah, we're eventually gonna like figure out what's going on in this, this story. And somehow we're still drunk in like a, you know, his perspective, but I'm guessing he's becoming a little bit sober. I'm guessing. Anyways, guys, I think that's a perfect time to end this episode off. I have to say, I really like the improvements they made to the Somnium Worlds and added a few key, like, uh, features that, like, uh, made it progress a little bit more, like, smoothly in terms of, like, uh, figuring out what you need to do. Like, in, like, the last game, I wasn't really a fan of, like, the, the Somnium Worlds for, like, a while. Like, they were good at first. But then as I progressed, it, they got a little bit annoying in terms of like, uh, where do I need to go? What do I need to do? And all that kind of stuff. But here they made it a little bit more better, like make it kind of like a puzzle and trying to figure out, okay, what should I do here? What should I do there and such? I really like that instead of like the total randomness of like the last game. So yeah, apparently like uh, in uh, Ryuki's like Somnia world, something happened while he was on the case and someone ended up dying as a result. I'm not entirely sure who that could be, but I have a theory that it could be Date or something to that degree. That Date somehow died, which would be very... I wouldn't I wouldn't really know how to feel about that, to be honest, because I really like Date. But if it is the case that Date did die, then that could be the reason why Ryuki is so messed up. That's the only reason I can think of, because Ryuki really like looked up to Date, right? He really looked up to him as a police officer. And if he ever thought that he was the one who was the cause of Date's death, that would explain why he's having such a massive traumatic stress like disorder or something. Even though he was kind of acting that way at first, so... Maybe it's the case of like, the explosion that happened when Date disappeared. Ryuki might have been there at the time, and he might have been like, uh, stressed out as a result of that, like, whole thing. Maybe. Not entirely sure. But then again, I still feel that Date is still alive somewhere. Somewhere. And that person who died might have been someone else. But we'll have to save all those questions for the next episode. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you have not already, Please be sure to subscribe, I would be very happy if you did that. And I promise you all that this Therium will be around for the next episode. Until next time guys, I bid you all a fond farewell.